Hello Prepmates today i have with me mega gupta who hails from jaipur and has recently got admission into aims new delhi with under 50 rank hello mega hi so i would like to tell all of you that mega is a, has cleared aims examination while she was a dropper yes you heard it right often there are apprehensions in the minds of people who are going to take a drop and the faculties of various coaching institutes and society tells कि आपकी कुछ हज़ार रैंक आई है आप अगर ड्रॉप ले लो तो ज़्यादा फ़ायदा नहीं होगा अगर आपकी रैंक हज़ारों में है तो कुछ एक हाथ दो हज़ार ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा ऊपर हो सकती है लेकिन आप टॉप में कभी नहीं आ सकते सो so, मेगा ने इन सभी बातों को नकारा और कैसे अपना सफ़र आगे बढ़ाया और अपने ड्रीम मेडिकल कॉलेज में एडमिशन लिया आज हम उस पर बात करेंगे सो मेगा हाउ वॉज यू स्कूल लाइफ टिल क्लास टेंथ Were you a studious person? Were you a nerd? Were you a bookworm? Or were you a, a person who used to enjoy her life? First of all, in class twelfth, uh, I did regular schooling. I didn't go to a dummy school. Oh, that's so, great. Yeah, uh, I preferred going to a regular school because I think that uh, other course scholastic activities are too important in development. And uh, for the competitive exams, I am an NTC scholar and a KVPY scholar too. Oh, that's great. So, as you heard, that Mega went to regular school till class twelfth. and why did you use pcb stream since the very beginning that image of a doctor with a stethoscope and treating patients uh, that motivated me inspired me to become a doctor and i liked biology from the very beginning only so uh, okay. that made me choose pcb so was stream. the hatred towards mathematics one of the factor that compelled you to take pcb no it was not like that like i liked physics a lot so mathematics portion also i was comfortable with but biology i liked more okay So that's the cool. goal. So I have heard like that was one of my reason why I took biology because I did not like mathematics at all. So that is a good thing that she was good in mathematics. Still she chose biology just because of her interest, not because of any kind of compulsion or hatred for a particular subject. So uh, did you prepare for AIMS or NEET examination while you were in class 11th or 12th? Oh uh, yeah, actually I'm a dropper. So till class 12th I did um, go to a coaching but uh, till class 12th I was not very much into studies I was in other co scholastic activities so I took a uh, drop other co scholastic co scholastic activities as in uh, dancing dancing so yeah, what kind of dance do you specialize in contemporary and basically uh, folk dances I'm from Rajasthan so Rajasthani dances okay so what yeah. kind of Rajasthani folk dances are common a uh, ghumar ghumar yeah right right Have you seen Amisha Maru's Gomer dance? Yeah, yeah, she's she, like she really does it very well. Yeah, yeah. even I do appreciate it a lot. Yeah. Hmm. My rank with class twelfth, uh, the first attempt, it was twelve thousand something. So, uh, okay. it so, was a very difficult decision for me to take a drop because. Uh, so, uh, what do you feel was the reason that you got such a low rank in thousands? Why do you feel could you have done better, or this was what you deserved from the amount of preparation that you had yeah, done? Yeah, that thing I w- I wanted to discuss in quite detail. There were a lot of factors which I uh, feel like I shouldn't have done. So starting with I didn't prepare NCERT properly. That is the thing which I oh. feel like a lot of students they do that they go to uh, random books, they try solving numerous questions, but they miss out the very basic thing that is NCERT textbook, especially biology. So this thing I feel like I shouldn't have done. I should have read NCERT properly. and then i used to th- uh, postpone things to tomorrow i didn't do uh, daily revision that was perhaps very important and uh, plus i was in a regular school so i didn't get much time to practice questions a lot and i used to uh, given papers much to theory than uh, questions so i used to read my notes again and again instead of practicing a lot of questions so that shouldn't be done uh, proper time should be given to uh, question practice also so those were the factors which you know uh, led me to 12000 rank okay so in 12000 rank you could have got a seat in some peripheral medical college yeah i was up. getting the payment seats of uh, quite low colleges of right. rajasthan right you, you could have easily go gotten into various colleges of bds that have some kind of reputation not the private medical yeah, colleges yeah. so why didn't you opt for bds or a private medical college it was from the very beginning i was this time that i have to be an mbbs from a very good college obviously i didn't thought of aims aims is like the topmost thing but still uh, i had in my mind ki if i'm going to be a doctor it should be from a good college so i was quite stubborn on that thing ki no not bds not private college mbbs from a very good college okay so friends as you can appreciate that constant burning fire inside her motivated her to pursue her, her dream even after a failure so that so we should all take an inspiration from her that right? whatever we do whatever we achieve until and unless our aim is reached we should not stop we should keep on trying again and again
सो लाइक सिंस यू आर अ गर्ल लाइक एंड देर आर वेरी सेपरेट इन दोसाइटी कि यार लड़की है जो भी है जो कॉलेज मिल रहा है करा दो वैसे ही जाना है और उसके अलावा ड्रॉप लेने के बारे में भी लोग काफ़ी चीज़ें बोलते हैं कि जैसे आई एम क्वाइट श्योर कि जब तेरी बारह हज़ार रैंक आई होगी लोगों ने बोल रहा हो कि अगर आप इसको कहीं दिलवा भी दो ड्रॉप दिलवा दो जो ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा बारह हज़ार से बारह सौ आ जाएगी बारह सौ से एक रैंक ऊपर तो नहीं आनी इसकी तो इसमें कॉन्फिडेंस तुम्हें कैसे आया किस तुम्हारे का मम्मी का कैसा सपोर्ट था पापा कैसा सपोर्ट था सिबलिंग्स का कैसा सपोर्ट था my parents and my siblings they always supported me with the peripheral society like neighbors and uh, uh, relatives they told ki mbbs is not that important you can do from a low college pg is what that matters but still my parents were always like ki no one year is all right it's not a big deal even in medical field taking a drop is not a big thing so my parents always supported my decision of taking drop and they were like ki we will support you uh, anything you need so i uh, got that constant support and motivation from my parents and plus it was my intense desire that i have to reach a good college so that was the biggest motivation right. factor for me so as can be inferred from what she showed that her intense desire toward achieving her aim or towards achieving or getting into her dream college was the main factor and apart from that the support from her parents and her siblings mattered a lot for her so felt ho gaya you got 93% in board examination then you got into dropper's batch dropper's batch of which coaching institute allen jaipur allen jaipur okay so allen jaipur mein jaisa aapne admission liya to kab se classes chalu hui aur fir kya hua so jo sabse important cheez dropper's ke dimag mein confusion hota hai ki humne 11 12 mein kuch padhai ki hai jo humne shayad acche se nahi ki hai ya kuch cheez acche se ki hai kuch cheez acche se nahi ki hai to hum kya shuruaat se padhna chalu kare ya jo cheeze humne padhi hai unko revise karke unhe improve kare so which strategy did you adopt personally i started from the very beginning from the zero i used to make complete class notes in my class i used to see other droppers they thought ki ek bar to likh liya hai so they used to reedit the previous notes but i would not suggest that make the notes again read ncert from like uh, you're doing it for the first time because if it would have been better you would have got a college na so uh, you couldn't make it to aims or good college means uh, you have flaws so Don't think ki you know something. You start from the very beginning. Make notes, read NCERT line by line. Mm, that's it. Okay. So you were in Allen's uh, Droppers batch. So did you go for regular tests that they organize fortnightly tests, weekly tests, monthly yeah, tests? Yeah, they were uh, tests in twenty-one days. Okay. So they were quite helpful in assessing ki how are we doing. Okay. So what are some other tips that you would like to give other aspirants who are preparing for AIMS and NEET and other various examinations? Uh, the very first thing which I would like to suggest is uh, don't go here and there. Refer to your NCERT only, especially physics and chemistry. For AIMS, especially summary points to ponder, they are very important. Generally, even if students read NCERT, they neglect the blue boxes and everything. They are very important. Plus, the in-text questions in chemistry, organic and physical, they are very important. And uh, whichever coaching institute you are going to, uh, make sure that uh, you pursue. the material of one or two coaching institutes matlab don't go here and there and that way you don't focus on one thing properly it's not a good thing so i personally did allen and akash modules and ncert all the questions second thing is that uh, making short notes is very important because in the last when you have a lot of syllabus it becomes difficult to revise theory so for that uh, make one page short notes of each chapter and try to practice as many questions as you can again from ncert and your modules only and uh, being regular is very important uh, you should be regular in your studies and daily revision is also very important whatever is taught in the class make sure that the very same day you remember all the stuff and uh, just don't postpone things to tomorrow mm, yeah so basically if you try to procrastinate things that can prove disastrous for you yeah. so kal kare so aaj kar aaj kare so ab so aaj ka kaam aaj hi khatam karna hai kal ke liye nahi chhodna hai theek hai That is what Mega wanted to say. So Mega, uh, कुछ लोग होते हैं जैसे आप एलन में जाओ या आकाश में जाओ तो at least पचास की batch size होती है और एलन में जो normal batches जाती हैं उनकी size डेढ़ सौ दो सौ तीन सौ साढ़े तीन सौ तक भी जाती है जितना मैंने सुना है तो हर कोई कम्फर्टेबल नहीं होता अगर आपको कोई डाउट्स हैं या हर किसी के पढ़ने का रेट अलग अलग होता है जैसे कि मैं 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 तेज़ पढ़ता हूँ तो मुझे लगेगा कि क्लास में मेरा टाइम वेस्ट हो रहा है मैं अगर धीरे पढ़ता हूँ और प्रोफेसर तेज तेज स्पीड से पढ़ा रहा है तो मुझे लगेगा कि यार मुझे समझ में नहीं आ रहा और कुछ डाउट्स आते हैं नेचुरली तो वो हम क्लास में क्लियर नहीं कर पाते तो उसके लिए आजकल ऑनलाइन सभी प्लेटफॉर्म से कमिंग एंड ऑफ दैट वन ऑफ दम आई हैव विथ मी प्रेप ऑनलाइन सो सो ये देखो ये प्रेप ऑनलाइन का ऐप है सो You can get it yeah, at I the fee. Okay, you have seen this. Yeah, I've seen this. Okay, so in this prep online app, 
we can get video lectures like we have physics 11th chemistry 11th biology 11th and correspondingly for class 12th also so in a particular chapter of a particular class like you have a chapter the living world so this chapter has been divided into seven parts seven small parts and there is a video for each part after you have seen the video you can go through the question banks there are two question banks one is um, there are topic wise question banks like what is living 10 questions on that diversity in living world 10 questions on that and so and so then you have question bank 2 which which has questions from the ncert exemplar one one of the section then we have 30 ncert based questions we have match the column type questions and we have advanced level questions so there are some questions in need which are very easy some which are of moderate level and some which are of uh, higher order thinking skills so for that also they have tried to encompass that in this wonderful app that they have prepared apart from that as everybody knows assistant and reason type of questions are very important from aims point of view so in every chapter they have incorporated assistant and reason type of questions into the, uh, into the app not only uh, video lectures and uh, question answers question banks we have various model test papers uh, of the uh, half of the syllabus one third of the syllabus the entire syllabus the entire syllabus of class 11th class 12th right and you can get this wonderful app at a nominal fee apart from that there are also videos of various toppers like the one uh, in which mega is giving her tips so toppers of various years and various streams the videos are available on the app you can go through them and you can take guidance from the toppers uh, regarding your preparations apart from that you can share the link to this app to your friends and if they download it you will get some credits which you can subsequently use to unlock new videos and newer tests so mega uh, would you recommend this app Yeah, I personally found that this app is quite organized. So those students who find trouble in organizing their schedule or managing problems, they can use this. I mean, it provides a step-by-step -step, uh, way to reach out things. So yeah, this app is very helpful. Nice. Okay, friends, keep watching Aim for Aims channel for more such updates and videos with toppers.